My job today is just to push us through the workout. We were here in Riverside last week, not at this location, but nearby. Today we're here at our home gym, Fitness Mania, Riverside, California. Great equipment, best gym in the Inland Empire, best gym in Southern California, in my opinion. So today was going to be pretty intense, straightforward, get a lot of blood into the quads, and see what we can do. My man's got five weeks to go, and uh, I see some trophies in his future. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit about the gym for those of you who don't know uh, Fitness Mania. Obviously, uh, this gym has been around for a couple of years now, a little bit over that, but uh, it's known for uh, its equipment, a lot of equipment, uh, 10 to 15 pieces of equipment for body part, lots of free weights. Um, but the atmosphere here is just incredible if you're looking to come in and train and see results and difference. Uh, everybody is super cool, uh, you know, it's a really great atmosphere to train in. And if you love this gym, you're going to love the next gym for sure because this is a 50,000 square foot building coming into the third quarter of 2023. Uh, this is going to be Fitness Mania Grand. It's a 50,000 square foot building with lots of amenity, tanning, uh, retail store, recovery, uh, posing room, uh, a large cafeteria, kids club, you're talking a lot of amenities that is going to be there, whether you're a fitness competitor, bodybuilder, uh, you're a house mom, it's going to cater to every need. So stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you all there. Good job. So you, got, you got warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get started with some extensions, really, really lightweight, um, you know, let us all kind of feel through any aches and pains and issues that we might have in our knee, ish, in our knee. so we we'll do about two or three, this isn't strict, we're not counting reps, um, you can sit here and do about 15, 20 of them, um, I prefer to go a little bit of a slow pace and then pick things up a little bit, it's kind of going to mimic what we're going to do, so this is literally warming up, um, this beast of a an extension is plate loaded so the, the trick here is when you come down on that eccentric it's going to put a little bit of pressure on your knee that's a little bit different than the machine pros and cons to it um, and other than that we're just going to warm up and then I'll kind of integrate the other things in the workout as we go into another warm-up set so I like to think of warm-ups like when you're a kid and you're getting ready to leave the house on a road trip with your parents you need to get all of the things you need to get done before you hit the road because you're not coming back right so one of the things I've kind of learned in my career is I've gotten better and better and more proficient at my training is that sometimes when you're young you end up going from exercise to exercise and you warm up again okay because you feel the need to go light and start that pyramid so one of the things that I've realized is that's kind of a waste of time, okay? And that really just means you aren't properly warmed up. So what I'm trying to do here with these extensions as we continue to progress is make sure that when we're warm, we're warm. And we can progress to the next exercise without starting off at ground zero again. going to begin the beginning of our pyramid working sets so these reps are going to count we're going to be very very strict with each other as far as what we're looking for in the reps 
help us out with some of the cues. When you're working out, you may feel something and it looks completely different than what we're trying to do. So now we're gonna kind of break down, get very, very rigid, very, very focused. And we're gonna start off with 30 reps here. All right, so we got one good set of extensions. So now we're gonna drop the reps down a little bit. We're gonna incorporate some superset action. So I'm gonna go from here, do my extensions, my 15 reps, then I'm gonna transition to the hack squat, and I'm gonna get 12 reps, slow and control without locking out. Let's go. Come on. 
Don't burst. Push. Back. Uh. Push as well. Push. Uh. Good job. Slow, 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 slow. Up, slow, slow, slow. Yeah. Come on. Slow it in that. Slow it in that both ways. Yeah. Come on, stay in it. Slow. Yeah. Slow. Back down. Slow. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Yeah. Reset. I need four. Let's go. Stay in it. Let's go, Tom. Let's go, baby. Get it. Slow all the way down. No burst. Yeah. A little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Do not burst, Tom. Uh-huh. Go, 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 go. Good, good, good. There we go, Tom. Good. Don't burst. Stay in Uh-huh. Stay in it. Do not burst. Slow as you can. Stay in it. Uh-huh. No, no, no. You're not done. You're not done. We're going to get you there. We're going to get you there. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, three reps. You need to go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Yeah! Oh, I'm coming up with you, Tom. Just trust me. Go without going slow. I'm slow. Uh -huh. One more. A little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. A little bit deeper. Now, slow. Yeah! Yes! Good job. Good job. What I like to do is merge workouts. So we started off with stitches by itself, then we added hacks. Now we're gonna finish with hacks by itself, and at the end of hacks, I'm gonna introduce what we're gonna do last, okay? So again, extensions, merge with hacks, hacks by itself, and then we're gonna merge with our last exercise for body. here so now that we went with the slow and control no lockout put a lot of blood that was a very very difficult technique I know it doesn't translate to video that's a very very difficult technique especially coupled with extensions now we're going to switch to a more traditional hack squat tempo slow and control and then we're going to pop to the top okay
over with but I have the urge to do more because we're all gym rats we don't get to train with each other as much as we would like to we got the camera going but at the end of the day I know as a trainer you have an objective and we definitely hit our marks today 
We wanted to train quads. We train with a lot of volume. We train heavy. We train with time under tension, static holds, depth, everything you can name that you want in a quad workout. We got it done today. Um, we didn't say much about this beast. This is our first time using this together. Um, what I like about this is something about the weight being distributed on the track as opposed to the, um, of the leg presses that are on ball bearings. It's a little bit heavier, especially when you get deep. Um, so it's a, it's a great apparatus, it's made by Panada. Uh, Fitness Media has an entire arsenal of Panada equipment. And again, most of their stuff is known for being very smooth and Cadillac-like, Cadillac -like, but this one packs a punch. I'd say six plates on here feels about like 10 or 11 plates on the other leg presses, honestly. So it was a great workout today. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully tomorrow you can come back and we can get some back training in. What you got, Santa? Uh, again, like I said, we don't really train much anymore like we would like to. These workouts are always uh, really fun, but humbling. You know, you love it, but hate it at the same time. Um, just excited that, you know, we're five weeks out and I think um, I got a little sick two weeks ago, recovering from that. But everything seems like it's running smoothly now, and you know, we should talk, talk to them about prep. So, real quick, almost every prep is going to have something, whether it's a nagging injury, somebody gets hurt, death in the family, you know, social issues, all that kind of good stuff. So, that's all part of the package. So, I'm gonna let Santi tell you some of the things that he does to keep his eyes on the prize because as the mind goes, the body will follow. Like me, uh, like you said, every time I'm getting ready for a prep, something's happening, either, you know, work, family issues, health issues, uh, uh, physical injuries. What keeps me motivated is that, at the end of the day, I know what it feels like to not give up, give it your all, and know at the, at the end of the road when we get to that set date, which is November 19th, you just wanna step on stage and just be like, I did everything I, I could possibly do, and, you know, it takes, it takes a really strong mind to get you there. And also uh, a lot of good people, you know, that have your back, like Ron, Tom, and of course my family and my kids. Can you say this? Uh, I really don't have much to say. I'm nauseous and I have a headache. It's definitely the signs of a, of a really good workout. Um, <laughs> always trying to keep up with Ron and Santi. They, uh, they keep me young, so. Uh, Thank you. Contrary, contrary to popular belief, I don't enjoy kicking his ass and dragging him through the workout. But if I don't do that, then he's gonna to want to work out with somebody else. So it's part of the package, you know?